Absolutely. Well, we are going into game two now. Team Slayer on Narrows. Let's watch some action here from Legend Pimps because he's got to be feeling good after that one. And I would love to see what he can do with his sniper. Legend's taken Legend's taken down. Meanwhile, Soldier has the rocket in the middle. We got Ant, though, who hits the man cannon every start of this game. He's moving top middle, running away, letting these rockets reload. Smart play there by Ant. I tell you what, if Ant gets on fire here with these rockets, he can cycle these and then he can pull out that BR. This could be bad, a bad start for Final Boss. They're going to need to be careful. Now remember, in the winner's bracket finals, we saw Team Classic face off against Instinct in this game type. Soldier went 16, 9, and 10. That's a positive 6 here. We're expecting another big game out of him. And he did it mostly with his BR, but also with the rockets. So look for Team Classic to be controlling those rockets and the sniper rifles. As right now, you'll see Ant has a sniper on his back, and it looks like Legend Pimps has a sniper rifle of his own. Oh, missing the shot on Ogre 2. That's heartbreaking. He had it set up. Ogre 2 wasn't even looking at him. He just couldn't get it done. But there he switches to the BR, finishes off the kill, as Team Classic has the 10-6 to 4, 10 to 6 lead. Over on the other side, we have Strong Side with a sniper of his own as Legend is taken down. Let's see what Strong Side and Final Boss can do with their power weapons. Communication for Final Boss. Seems to be a bit, little bit tense, a uh, little terse. At their, at their sniper, it's a bit whiny actually from Ogre 2 right now. At their sniper. Top you think maybe, now again, Final Boss didn't expect to be dumped down to lose bracket early. They also didn't have to R1 expect to have L1, to fight back. L1. And after L1 winning that first part, L1 that L1 first series yeah. against Team Plasma, I'm sure they didn't expect to lose a team, uh, CTF game on the pit where they were out slaying for so much of the game. Absolutely. Well, Ogre, two, Ogre 1 going on that double kill there. He's finally taken down, but he is leading his team with four kills right now as they are trailing by four, 17 to 17-13 to here in Game 2 in the best of five championship match. Here, MLG Championship Sunday between Team Classic and Final Boss. It's going to be at our flag. At our sniper. At our sniper. Our at L1, L1, L1. Oh, no, Two dead. Double, double. It's going to be at our sniper. At our sniper still. Good push. Got sniper, L1, L1. Leave the sniper. One shot. Nice, man. Pocket, pocket. Right pocket. Left pocket. Left pocket. Right one pocket. shot, L2. Nice job. Right Two dead. Right 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 one dead. L1, maybe. We're checking out one Fear shot, here, who's got the sniper rifle for Team Classic, right 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 and there he's one hitting shot, Ogre right One right once, right dropping right his right shield, right 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 pushing out with half shield. Right Ogre right One was cleaned up by the grenade. That is three down for Final Boss. This is going to be a great setup here for Team Classic as they have control of the snipers. You see what Fear is doing. He is dropping shields like crazy, going for the nose scope. Fear is having a ball out there. He's just jumping around in the middle with that sniper rifle. He's definitely feeling it. His team playing well right now. Not with a huge lead, but a lead feels good here. Now, Classic had great map control and position there, but Final Boss just had a phenomenal surge there. They brought the game within two kills, and now Final Boss has control of this middle position. You hear Team Classic calling for someone to man cannon. Fear was dropping shields like crazy, but there was no one there in position to finish it off. So let's hop on board with Walshy, who is playing so aggressively, pushing in with Ogre 2 here on Ant. And Ogre 2 is getting triple teamed. Now it's Walsh's turn. So the overly aggressive attack did not work out there for Final Boss, but they did bring the game within one kill. They actually had the lead for a little while there, Pucket, and I think Ogre 2 is playing dominantly right now, just destroying Team Classic members. But Walsh, maybe a little too eager, jumped in there. We've seen this before. He's got five kills. Maybe he feels it. he's feeling the pressure. To, trying to do a little too much. Right. His team's only down one. He needs to relax a little bit and trust his teammates. You don't have to finish every kill. Your teammates are there for you. 
Walsh is pushing in so aggressively. I think he's still frustrated that they just lost that pit game. He was playing so well for 99% of the game, and then final boss fell apart in the end. It's easy to say and hard to do. You can't carry that stuff over game to game. You gotta reset. You gotta start over. You gotta let yourself have a chance to win. Well, the ogres are trying to light a spark here for final boss as they are now in the lead by four kills here. Ogre one leading the charge on that left side. He's gonna be forced to back down. R2, R2. Ogre two and strong side both with snipers top middle. Watch out, there's snipers on. Ogre 1 working the flank now as they have 6 kill lead and 8 kills to go before tying up this series 1-1. One to one. Going to right plasmas, right plasmas, there are 2, there are 2. We're checking out Fear and Soldier trying to charge up the middle. They need to find some way to get behind Final Boss because right now they were pinned back in their base. You have Legend though leading the charge, clearing it out, and there you go, Soldier, Legend, and an Ogre One finally assassinated Fear. But the three of them were working together really well together. I think we're running out of time though for Team Classic. Just don't have many deaths left to get. Oh, and he got hit in the air by the man cannon falling off the map, and now it's the final kill. Walshy, or Strongside wants it, and he gets it there on Ant. Checking out the stats now. Ogre 2, huge game, 16 kills, 11 deaths. His twin brother right behind him with a 14, 10, and 10. That's a double double Sundance, another positive four. Strong side with positive six. Walshy, like we said, trying to do a bit too much. They're going negative eight. Fear had a pretty good game there for Team Classic. Positive three, I think up around 35 kills. All four of those players were positive, but then final boss came surging back. Absolutely. What you saw there was you saw a team that Team Classic had the momentum, they had map control, and as you said, Final Boss was able to rush through, take it back, and then from there on, they had them pinned. And, and they were calling out, they were saying, Fear was dropping shields, but nobody's finishing those kills. He can be using sniper rifle as well as anything. If he's not able to finish them and his teammates aren't able to finish the kills for him, then it's, it's just wasted time. And all Final Boss had to do was sit back, wait, crush through, and that's exactly what they did.